Hey folks, this is a quick video showing you how to test an ignition coil on an outboard engine. The first thing we do is we're going to locate our coil. Here we're testing the bottom coil. And we're going to take off the wire going into the coil. There's generally two wires, one to the CDI and the other one going to ground. So we're going to take off the one that goes back to the ignition module or the CDI. And I'm going to put in one tail of my multimeter leads and change to resistance or continuity setting. I'm going to take our other probe and just put it to ground. And here we're reading 0 0.5, which is perfect. You want a low ohm reading, something around 0 0.5 up to 1, up to 2 even, depending on your meter. The next test we're going to do is test the resistance between our coil and the end of our HT lead. So we still have our probe Connect to the power into the coil. Next we're going to find the inside of the terminal there. We should be getting a reading somewhere in the mid to up to 10 kilo ohms. So 8.96. So for this engine what I did was I checked the three coils and I found 8.96. This was about 8.5 and this one here was around 200 kilo ohms. So I knew that the top coil was the issue. After a little bit of investigation, I found that the top of the lead cap was damaged and that's where it was arcing and losing its power. So I simply cut it off, it's only a temporary fix to test it out, cut it off, wrapped the lead around, tightened it up and it's running perfectly. So I can order a new lead or a new coil if I have to now. Okay, hopefully that was of some use to you. Cheers, bye bye.